This is our magnetic canceling device, and it's up here in front of the top coil. So now I'm going to, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it and see what happens. The current's 178, which seems a little bit high, I don't know. And, uh, okay, we're going to 42, 30, 40, well, let's go on. Let's just use 4,000 uh, 4, divided by 9, which is 5 something, or 4 something. Now I'm going to remove it and take it out. Notice the quiet. It's drawing slightly more current, which is interesting. And the RPM is. It's dropping. Okay, it's been about three minutes since I took that out. The, the RPM has dropped, thus the uh, current draw is more. And the RPM has dropped down. We'll just use a reference there of, uh, I would say, it's around 3692. I'm going to reinsert the, uh, I'm going to reinsert the, uh, the magnetic canceling thing. Um, it works pretty good. It's not perfect yet, but it works pretty good. Uh, you see the current has already started to drop and the RPM is picking up here. Okay, so, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think it's a pretty good deal. Pause it for a minute. Okay, current about 179. Uh, RPM, I'll just give you three measurements we took here. Uh, 43, 43, 41, 42. So let's pick uh, 40, 42 is right in the middle of that. Uh, these cheap uh, bands that uh, are from Harbor Freight, I thought were stainless steel. They're not, so they are affecting the magnetic pattern. This is really easy to adjust for cancellation. It's really easy. Uh, the core could probably be pulling more, but so that's a pretty good thing here. Like you say that. I had something like a stick in there, uh, maybe to stop the bouncing, you'll hear it. Let me see if I can stop the bouncing at all. There you are. Okay. Okay, so that's the noise level when it's built right, okay? Not bad. Not bad. And probably the RPM is going to go up a little bit. When I stopped the, uh, held that thing down there and took the reading, I was at 4,500. So it, it actually raises it to 4,500. There's no way I can, I don't think I can do it here. Let me see, maybe I can get wedge something in there. So, hold on. Okay, she's quiet now. Uh, okay, it's not much difference in the draw there. Uh, and now. Forty-two. I'll be happy with the forty-two number. But that's how quiet it can be. I just wedged some stuff in there in the, the tube there. So happy day. Okay. The current is eight hundred mils with the magnetic field cancellation device and uh, I'm going to depower now 
so that you can watch this spin down. So we'll get rid of these clip leads. I'm going to show you that we have eliminated 98% of the cogging effect. The coil is the one that's activated is the one up here that has the cancellation device. Notice it, it has a slow spin down and that's because we've eliminated the cogging. You can hear a little ticking and that's because our device needs to be a little bit upgraded internally so it doesn't no make noise. But there is no noise whatsoever transferred or created. Thus the motor runs faster, uses less current. Okay, here, the waiting, that's how. You can hear that little thing vibrate a little bit. Again, real slow spin down. No cocking. Okay, she's coming down here a little bit. It was running at um, about 450 RPM at speed. with just one coil driving it. Okay, here we go. We're slowing down. Slowing down. These are N42 magnets, a two inch by one inch. Okay, slowing down. Slowing down. Okay, you see no cogging effect at all. Okay, now it's going to hit a neutral point and stop. Okay, now like I say, we're 98% and there is a way to have 100%. Money, of course, is no object, is it? Okay, we're going to go ahead now and connect it again. And I, want to, I want to take the, the, uh, the core out when I do this. Okay, she's going to start on her own. So I want you to listen to it as it comes up to speed, and then I'm going to remove the the um, the magnetic cancellation uh, device, and the only thing that will happen is the current draw will go up basically because the wheel spins down. So we're getting, with the magnetic cancellation box, this would be then considered a, a core inside of a starship. Okay. 
So I'm going to remove now. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going, I'm going to remove the the device. Okay. And we'll pick up the current here as it spins down. Remember, it was 80 mils before. And we'll go over and take a look at it. I'm going to pause it here only to let, let it spin down, okay? It's now it's spinning down here, and you'll notice our current draw went up uh, by about 15 um, milliamps. The whole key to making the Mueller uh, Romeo UK thing is you have to have the most efficient prime mover and then the most efficient way of collecting the energy. Um, this is not built around the Romeo UK. Uh, there's a lot of things that are done wrong there. But we hope that his product did work and it wasn't a hoax. So anyway, we go over here and we'll look at our our RPM, our past RPM was, these are the numbers here, okay. Now we're going to, the RPM will be down now. Okay, so there we had a high of 42. Okay, so again with the device we're able to do 98% cancellation. It can be made to be 100. Um, we're very happy with this. Okay, so if we pause it here, or I'll just go ahead and put the device back in. Yeah. I have a noise cancellation device that isn't permanent. I'm sorry, you can hear the noise now because some of the sum assemblies are uh, moving and I have to make that permanent. However, you'll notice we're down now to 76. We're, we're down to 76, uh, approximately 76 uh, uh, mic or milliamps. And, uh, since that assembly is vibrating, uh, our RPM will be up, but it won't be up as high as we would like to hit. But there we are in the 4, 4, 1, 4, 2. So here, again with the device in there, and here's our numbers. Okay. And if we depower, of course, it's going to still make the noise because that's the nature of the beast. However, if I go over here and remove it, we don't have it anymore. And this is the this is the the hole where it goes into the coil. You still see the magnets moving beyond there. Be, be, I'm sorry, below. So I wish I could tell you how this is constructed, but I'd like you to kind of abandon the the Romeo UK approach because it's not a good approach. Uh, and think out the box and think what's needed. What is the end result you need to eliminate cogging? Okay, so what's the advantage of, of putting a core in an air core? Uh, you're going to uh, increase your RPM and you're going to drop your current draw. Uh, the current draw again drops because you are running at a faster RPM. There will be a limit on the amount of RPMs versus the amount of current uh, drawn. But also on the other end, you're going to get with your power coils more voltage uh, and current out of them as your, in, as your RPM increases. Also with the Romeo UK thing, uh, there's not enough magnets to do the job. Uh, you're not getting a perfect sine wave out of it. So that's um, again, uh, it, you need more magnets. So, and more coils. So, anyway, hopefully that the original Romeo UK will work. Uh, we're way ahead of the game here at uh, Starship Energy Labs. Thank you.